the whaling industry is centered in the New England region. The industry gave fishermen and companies on the waterfront employment, and whale flesh and oil were extremely valued. The inability to create a definite method of effectively hunting whales was a major issue for fishermen. The whales would thrash and spin away from the whalers' harpoons, proving their tactics of the day frequently ineffective. Lewis Temple, an abolitionist and African-American blacksmith, created the fluted or barbed harpoon, which revolutionized the whaling business. Lewis Temple was born in Richmond, Virginia in 1800. This is the story of Lewis Temple. So sit back, relax, let's get into it. In Richmond, Virginia, Lewis Temple was born in 1800 while still a slave. After being set free, he relocated to New Bedford, Massachusetts, where he worked as a blacksmith in 1829. He married Mary Clark later that year, and the two of them eventually had three children. Despite any prior maritime or whaling knowledge, he also launched a business selling whale craft. Temple had so much success in 1845 that he was able to establish a larger whale craft shop. In his native state of Virginia, a slaveholding state, Temple's success was unimaginable. But in New Bedford, a city with a sizable black population, he achieved success and still found time to devote his energy to the anti-slavery movement, rising to the position of vice president of the New Bedford Union Society. When Frederick Douglass and his wife moved into a two-bedroom house in New Bedford's black enclave in the town's West End, Lewis provided assistance to former slaves, most likely including young Frederick Douglass. At the age of 47, Temple was detained for rioting at the scene of a pro-slavery lecture, together with three other black demonstrators. Lewis discovered that many whales escaped because the harpoons used at the time were not especially successful in snaring a struggling whale. Based on discussions with the whalers, who visited his store to have their whaling gear built and to purchase harpoons. Lewis Temple created a brand new style of harpoon in 1848 that included a movable head to keep the whale from escaping. He invented the Temple Toggle and Temple's Iron whaling harpoons, which by the middle of the 19th century had become the industry standard. Lewis Temple wasn't a whaler. He was an expert blacksmith. The Temple Iron outperformed every other harpoon that had ever been created in terms of effectiveness. Temple's harpoon head became stuck in the flesh of the whale, and the only way to remove it was to cut it free after the whale was deceased. Whalers first rejected Temple's harpoon. However, following several tests, the majority of whaling captains came to the conclusion the Temple's toggle iron was far better than the standard barbed head harpoon. Despite the popularity of his harpoon, he never had it patented. As a result, several blacksmiths started to copy the tool and sell it under their own names. Nevertheless, he was successful enough that he had to expand his shop. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this type of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop a new episode. All right, let's get back to it. Lewis Temple unfortunately fell into a hole next to the store in 1854 while it was being built, rendering him unable to work. The hole was created by the city during construction, and Temple successfully sued and won a $2,000 judgment. Due to his injuries, he passed away only a few short weeks later. Thus, he never got any of the money. It was a sad and ironic tragedy that a man who gave so much to the community throughout his life 
would be forgotten in death because all the money he gained from his company and court judgment went to pay off his debts. His family was unable to collect the money given by the court. After his passing, experts agreed with Clifford Ashley, who called Temple's harpoon the single most important invention in the entire history of whaling. Clifford Ashley is the author of the book, The Yankee Whaler. Temple toggle harpoons are in the collection of the New Bedford Whaling Museum. And a monument honoring him stands in front of the New Bedford Free Public Library on Pleasant Street in New Bedford. However, since there is no known photograph of Temple, the monument is based on a picture of his son, Louis Temple Jr. That's it for Aggressive Intelligence. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next.